Well hello and welcome to the channel and today you join me at Rivington. Now currently I can't see a thing. I'm by a waterfall as you can probably tell by the sound but um, yeah I can't really see what else is around me so uh, yeah a bit of a waiting game for the sun to rise in the sky so I'll, uh, I'll join you in a minute. I've actually come to an area called Tiger Club. Now I've never been really been around uh, Rivington to do any photography. This is probably the first time. In fact it is definitely the first time. So I'm, I have no idea what to expect from this area. So this is a real scouting exercise. Now the problem is I've arrived an hour before sunrise so uh, we've got a little bit of light in the sky just starting to happen now but uh, it is just a case of finding my feet quite literally. So I've been promised good things from this area and only time will tell. Obviously once we get a little bit of light I'll be able to explore a little bit more but I've come down to this sort of ravine and there doesn't seem to be a way to, to actually get out. It's um, yeah, it's a bit sketchy coming down. I had the, the loom cube light on uh, sort of guiding the path down and sort of stood down on my backside but uh, yeah there doesn't seem to be a way out at the minute so um, yeah could be stood down here for a while. Wow, I can actually see now. Well, it's about an hour and a half later on. I've taken some images um, of the waterfall here. Uh, it's kind of like in three tiers uh, going along. And uh, yeah, it's quite difficult. Um, if you come into this location, uh, I'm not sure what part this is currently. It's a definite for wellies. I've got my wellies on here. So uh, yeah, don't bother coming here without the wellies on. Um, it's only fun to get those sort of shots. So I'm going to move from this location now. So I'll see what else we've got. Now looking around here, I don't really think this is part of the, the main feature. Um, I believe the main waterfall's further up. There's also a lower falls. Um, so putting those together, this will be the middle falls. Uh, but I'm not quite sure. Like I say, it's the first time I've been to this location. And I'm just sort of, yeah, exploring it as we go. What I am surprised about here, and I know we are in a bit of a, uh, a sort of almost cave area, almost sort of like cut out, is the amount of rubbish, the amount of litter that's around here. Normally when you come to these beauty spots, it's normally spotless. Normally, I don't know, people have a bit of respect. I guess not here. So yeah, it's quite surprising that there's beer cans, there's, there's a scooter, there's Nerf bullets, there's, yeah, you name it, it's here. It's just dumped. It's, yeah, it's a bit of a tip really. Uh, there's a lot of plastic here behind me. Uh, yeah, it, I don't know. Normally when it comes to these locations and start doing these vlogs, I want to get the best out of the locations. I want to make it look picturesque and sort of inviting you guys to come along and, and yeah do some photography do a vlog maybe and, and yeah sort of capture some beauty from here but although the images are coming out quite well I'm struggling with the uh, with the b-roll and, and the vlog inside of it because yeah wherever you turn there's just rubbish on the images I can sort of photoshop those out quite easily it's not so easy when you're doing it on the uh, on the vlogging camera so uh, yeah apologies for no not a lot of b-roll at the minute but um, yeah it, it's it's a bit of a dump such a shame right so i'm going to move on i'm going to get out of this ravine uh, i've got to sort of climb up this area here that seems to be the safest bet uh, there's another section here that i can probably get out of but uh yeah i'm going to climb out here i've already cut my finger and uh yeah it's just one of those mornings but uh, yeah i'm going to get out of here now uh, and see what else this area has to offer i think the main path is on the other side of the water so um yeah join you in a little bit
So I just walked all the way down to try and find a crossing um, in the uh, in the stream, and uh, yeah, got across. And uh, on the other side now, just hiking up. Uh, yeah, a little bit out of breath because it's been uh, been a bit of a trek, and uh, yeah, kind of desperate to get there. So yeah, apologies for the uh, out of breathness, but I'm uh, I'm motoring on. So I've actually arrived at the main waterfall. It's a little bit further up from where I was before. Um, and yeah, that's the, uh, that's the main feature there. There's not a lot of water there, but um, yeah, it's still quite pretty. It's, I can still get a, a few images from the, uh, from the stream. And the way I'm working this location is, so I start at the top, I'm working my way down, just trying to find compositions as I go. There's a bit of debris in there. There's a couple of logs. Um, there's some nicely um, colored rocks with, with moss on them as well. That's, that's quite dark. Um, and, and, and yeah quite quite picturesque really and that seems to be coming out quite well with the polarizing filter on the camera as well pointing down there because that's where the camera is so uh, so yeah I'm just working this location for a little bit but I don't think I'm gonna stick here it's quite limited certainly with the amount to rate or the the lack of rainfall we've had over the past couple of weeks uh, yeah it's it's okay it, it's running there is a I've seen a couple of vlogs where uh, yeah there's been pretty much nothing coming from there so uh, yeah, I guess I'm blessed to, to get what, I, what I've got um, here today. With each of my videos, I always try and create a catchy title that people are going to click on and actually watch the video. For this one though, I'm going to have to use the most beautiful dump. I've never known a beauty spot in such disarray. There's that much litter around me. Behind you guys, there's a can of apple monster drink. In front of the camera, there's an old carrier bag. Further up, there's a few cans of beer. Further up from there, some crisps or crisp packets. There's so much rubbish here. I, not, I, I don't know, I just can't get over it. I just can't get over it. And I know that um, you know people come here and it's very busy. And one of the reasons why I've come here today is because today's Thursday, it's, it's Good Friday tomorrow, and it's obviously week, Easter weekend. So here's gonna be absolutely rammed. So I thought I'd come here, just sort of see what it's gonna be like, and uh, yeah, just get a, a feel for the area, see if it's gonna be re worth returning. And I think it's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful here. It's nature at its best, but then it's humanity at its worst. There's a, a, there's a bottle in the tree. There's, there's, a, there's actually a bottle plastic bottle nailed to the tree why I don't know it's as if people have just used this as a bit of a party place and I understand Rivington is extremely busy I understand that the the hordes of people that come here I mean I've been here myself I've been you know here with the children having a walk around and it's been absolutely rammed but there is no excuse there is no excuse for the amount of litter that's actually in this most beautiful part of this uh, this this country park it's absolutely disgraceful.
So I've worked a couple of shots here now and uh, I'm just going to go just notice behind me here there's another bit of a waterfall it's where the the sort of two streams meet here um, so I'm just going to check that out now get the camera and uh, have a walk around but yeah I mean I'm certainly not an environmentalist I'm not uh, not a massive eco warrior I mean obviously I think we should all do our own bit but uh, yeah this is just a, a really strange sort of unloved unkept area and uh, it's such a shame but uh, yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna stop moaning about it now I'm gonna try and uh, try and think of the positives and uh, get some decent images um, but yeah where I am now it seems as if this is another bit of a feature there's uh, a pair of socks lovely um, but yeah I'm gonna uh, gonna work here for a little bit now and uh, see what else I can get now granted um, like I say we have hardly had any rainfall over the past couple of weeks so what we've got is actually quite good um, so uh, yeah I'm just going to work it and it's a very strange location as well because photography wise it's beautiful you can you can't fail um, to get images here they're all very similar the compositions are quite limited and uh, yeah working around crisp packets and cans of monster energy drink honestly I'll, that's that's the last <laughs> But yeah working around uh, bits and pieces like that you're uh, you can get some decent images and uh, yeah it's they're all very very similar they're all uh, you know waterfalls of streams and uh, compositions are quite limited but uh, yeah with a bit of creativity and uh, an ND filter on the front of the camera there's no stopping you so I'm just going to catch this one behind me now um, yeah it's got a, a thin narrow uh, waterfall but uh, quite picturesque so uh, yeah let's get to work So I've worked at that location now for probably about an hour and whilst I've been working there I've sort of looked back to where I was before and we're starting to get quite a nice little bit of light there's uh, as you can see by the light on my face we're uh, we're getting some sunshine um, so I'm going to come back to this um, this main waterfall here um, whilst we've got a little bit of light it's going to be about another 10 minutes before the light actually comes into uh, into the rocks um, and sort of starts illuminating the rocks so I'm going to set up now have a drink um yeah get ready and uh take some, do some more photography on here i've not given up on this location yet um yes yeah, i think there's still more to be had and um yeah it, it's, it's a work in progress it's one of those um whenever you come to a new location it's always quite difficult to uh to get settled in so yeah i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna work on the location now and uh yeah see what other images can get
so I've taken a few more images I'm still gonna work this location probably for about another half an hour to an hour um, it's currently um, well quarter past nine so I'll probably stay till about quarter past ten um, just to see what the, the sunlight does see if it actually hits the rocks in the foreground uh, and if I can work any from this uh, anything further from this location so I'll continue taking a few shots I'll do the outro from home so um, yeah I guess I'll see you there what I want to do is just sort of have a look at the images in the computer sort of review them a little bit better and uh, and yeah just to sort of see what I've got it'd be really interesting to hear from you if you've actually been to this location and what you actually thought of it did you actually face the same sort of challenges I've got today not so much the water levels because that will change seasonally and once we get a bit of rain it might be worth coming back here and uh, and ju yeah just sort of seeing what the change in the waterfall will be like but yeah actually on the the rubbish and the the sort of neglect in this area did you actually experience the same here let me know in the comments it'll be good to hear so from Rivington it's time to say goodbye I'll speak to you at home go through some of the images and um yeah see you in a little bit bye bye welcome to my home so have a quick sip of coffee. <clears throat> so it's actually the following day. I spent all day yesterday reviewing the images, processing the images, and then sort of getting them ready for this video. And as I was processing the images, I was wondering whether I'd been a little bit too harsh on video about that location. And I don't think I had. One thing I want to be is really honest about these locations I visit. And I can't be positive, certainly about the amount of litter that was there. The location is stunning. Don't get me wrong, the location is ideal. If you're looking for waterfall images, if you're looking for a location where you've got plenty of waterfalls, that is the place to go. You've just got to work around the litter. And it's such a shame. It's such a shame that people allow it to be in, in such a, a dire, dire straits, really. I honestly don't know what goes through people's minds thinking that they can just leave litter there. Yes, things fall out of your pocket. Yes, Yes, things fall out of your bag, camera batteries included, but to purposefully leave litter there is unacceptable. I did a little bit of research and I'd watched a couple of um, YouTubers have been there. Joseph Seegers had been there a couple of times a few years ago and he has mentioned about uh, burnt out tents that were in the location. And yeah, there's just no excuse for that. But what I don't want to do is finish this video on a downer. The location is absolutely stunning. And as I said, it's absolutely fantastic if you want to do waterfall photography. It will be a location I'm going to return to, hopefully after we've had a bit more rain and maybe in the autumn. I think the autumn colors in there would absolutely be phenomenal. So yeah, it's definitely one to return to. So yes, it's not a location I've given up on. Whether I take the blogging camera and do another vlog from there, not sure. I'll sort of see how it feels on the day. I think the images I've got are okay, certainly with the amount of water we had there on that, that particular day. And as I've said, a bit more rain, a bit more drama in that, uh, in that waterfall and it'll be absolute diamond location. So on that note, it's time to finish the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed the images and I hope you've enjoyed the video, even though it was kind of limited to what I could shoot. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It'll be great to have you on board of the channel. Also click that uh, notification bell as well. Then you'll know when I've uploaded a new video. They are a little bit sporadic at the moment with the way my shifts are working. And uh, and yeah, I also broke my laptop last week and uh, yeah, that didn't help things. But that's a story for another day. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment. Let me know who you are, where you're from and if you've actually visited that location, experienced the same that I have or actually got there and it was actually quite clean. It'd be great to hear from you. So from Tiger Clough in Rivington yesterday, Warrington today, it's time to finish the vlog here. All the best, take care, new vlog out very, very soon. See you then, bye-bye now.